Well, good day, good day. It's a new day. So, uh, got a little bit of a project I wasn't really anticipating buying, but um, you could probably tell that the garage is a little bit more tidied up than it was when I had the car over here. The engine's there, the stand's there. Got a hose thawing out there. You'll see why. Uh, in a few moments here, but uh, I wanted to make some room because I have a vehicle to bring in here that I just recently bought. So follow me outside and uh, I'll give you a quick little rundown. Alright, so uh, this here is my 1986 Dodge Ram V150 short bed with a, uh, a deck on it instead. Um, it's got a, uh, a Mighty M 3000 PSI pressure washer with a uh, diesel burner on it. It's got a Honda GX270 as a uh, as a pump motor. Um, it's a pretty cool little unit. It's uh, only got about 80,000 kilometers on the clock. I don't know if that's rolled over once or not, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the system here. Clean interior. It's got a 318 small block in it. Runs really good. So we're gonna move Barb out of the way and uh, then we're going to pull this in the garage, so you can leave it rolling. We'll let them hear barbs. <laughs> I go in the garage though. So what do you guys think I should name this thing? I haven't gotten one picked out yet, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Post down in the comment section below and let me know what you think I should name this pig. Daphne, Darlene, Dorothy, Margaret, Jeanette, Stacy's mom because she's got it going on. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> Stacy's mom because she's got it going on. <laughs> going guy. Guide him in. little shuffling around and now we got uh, the new truck in the garage so the reason we're bringing it in here is uh, because I want to make sure everything's thawed out before I try testing all the pumps and everything it's been sitting outside for a little while so it's really hard to say what's wrong with it I'm not sure the truck runs great um, but I haven't had a chance to test out any of that stuff so the truck's gonna sit in here overnight thaw out so I got that hose hanging over there and uh, I'll hook up the hose to it because um, obviously the tank's got no water and the what left, what little water it does have is frozen so can't test her out. But I did fix one thing on this thing last night. <laughs> no way. 
Yes, sir. And here she be. Turbo Bean 2000. <laughs> but she fires up like nothing, man. It's got that typical Dodge starter, kind of like scraping crappy sound, but no problem. Right up. So I've done some messing around on this uh, pressure washer here, this Mighty M pressure washer. And uh, I've got a few little bugs i got to work out. I did get it running. It does run. This thing I had it running for a few minutes, but uh, it likely needs a new spark plug. I'm not really too concerned about this pump right now because I've been trying to use my hose directly fed into this. But... Uh, this guy is dumping water like crazy. This little piece here threads inside and it's just wide open. So I'm not sure how the heck that works, but it's dumping water out here. I ran it for a few minutes to see if I could get something going here, but then that's where your unloader valve would sit. Well, it turns out my unloader valve assembly is cracked. And it wasn't cracked earlier, but the problem is, is this thing is a pressure washer unit. It was parked outside. Shit was bound to get frozen. So here we have the valve that I yanked off. This thing will focus for me. Oh my god, I hate this camera. Jeez. Put this thing down here. Anyhow, can't get that camera to focus. This camera to focus. So I'm gonna start sourcing some parts for it and um Slap that together. <laughs> All right, so I've been doing some tinkering around in here for a little while. Um, I figured out a lot of problems. I repaired a few things. Um, this wash wand was actually broken. So this is this was an 18 foot long wash wand, extendable wash wand, um, or lance or whatever they call it. But uh, this like tent kind of style tubing, I don't even know what the hell you call that. It was bent. Somebody had stepped on it. It was in the box all bent up. So I, uh, I cut it off, shortened it, so it's not quite 18 feet anymore, but I re-drilled it, put the screws back in, and uh, all the fittings back together, and that seemed to uh, held up, held, held up, hold up, geez, my goodness, uh, hold up pretty good. That is the piece of tube that I removed off there. Um, also, oh, over here, I sorted out all this stuff. So the unloader valve had a crack in it. Um, of course, the camera's never going to pro properly focus. There's a crack right here on this unloader valve. So uh, I found one. Uh, they're 80 bucks. I'm going to go pick one up. Also figured out why it was leaking so much water. Um, it was because this it was supposed to have a bottom on it. I had no idea what the hell this was for. Um, I apologize. I can never get this camera to focus. Um, but I found a new uh, replacement for this too. So let's uh, do this here. Maybe this will... There you go. Sort of. Anyway, so I'm going to get another one of these on Tuesday. Get that all buttoned up. But now the next task, seeing as I have another set of headlights for it. Being a first gen guy, I know all these headlights all too well. These halogens, they are terrible. You can't see nothing. It's You're practically driving with candlelight. So I have a fix for that and I'm going to hook them up. This is what we got here. Some sealed beams, 5x7s. These are DOT approved. These are called the Hawkeyes. And uh, I got them from a company called Altitude Lighting, uh, based out of British Columbia. Plug and play. They do have a uh, another little wire poking out here that allows you to use the um, these outer like sections of the light light up with your daytime running lights if you want them to. Uh, but I don't really care about that. I pull the light on and You know there you go and plus I don't even think this truck has daytime running lights to be brutally honest I'm not sure but uh, we're gonna throw these in here. These used to be in my blue truck, but uh, we'll throw them in and see how they look
Okay. Let's go give her a try here. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Wicked. Quite a difference. Got a burnt out marker on the other side there, but. Try the high beams. Of course, that's on the floor, so. <laughs> so funny using a new set of headlights like that with a floor mounted uh, high beam switch. Uh, let's grab a little Windex and a shop towel. Give that a nice clean quick. Should use a microfiber for this so I don't scratch it, but it's all right. Wow. Check that out, man. That's friggin' awesome. So bright. It's crazy. There you go. Going from that crappy sealed beam to this beautiful 5x7 DOT approved LED headlight. There we have it. New LED 5x7 headlights installed in my 1986 Dodge Ram D150 pressure washer truck. 1986 Dodge Ram D150 uh, outfitted with this big 3000 PSI Mighty Am pressure washer that has a diesel fired um, boiler. Uh, the water pump which transfers the water from this big tank. I'm not sure how many liters of water or gallons it is. I really don't know. But uh, that pump, I still haven't gotten it running yet because it's uh, probably just a spark plug. It's not firing properly. It will run for like a second and that's it. So either fuel or spark. But um, I'm going to do that later on, but I got the parts I needed for this guy and thankfully if you live in Canada you know all about Princess Auto. Princess Auto is a very love-hate kind of relationship because sometimes you get some good stuff and other times it ends up being junk. Well, fortunately for my case, I had both items I needed at Princess Auto. This is a 4500 PSI uh, unloader valve and uh, my unloader valve that was already on here cracked at the bottom uh, right, if I open it up here I'll show you, right here on that little bit so it cracked and now we're going to put a brand spanking friggin new one on there and see what happens. I also got a new water inlet filter which is this little housing here and this was the cap on the bottom. See that there's no bottom anymore? It broke off somewhere. It threads in here. Well, water wasn't even making its way into the pump because it was dumping out right there. Well, now I got a new one, new cap, ready to go. So I'm going to put this stuff on and we're going to run it and see what happens.
Freaking out there. That's cool though. Cleans it right up.
just like that, buddy. We got her going. Holy frick. Oh, feels good. So what you gonna name her now? I don't know, buddy. No idea. There you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in to the next update on uh, whatever the hell I'm gonna call this truck. <laughs>